Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Um, my name is Ricardo Evangelista. Um, I work for Active Trades and during this video I will be showing you um, very basic um, activities with the MetaTrader platform. So I will illustrate how to log into the platform when you first receive your demo account details and um, this is once you have installed the platform in your computer of course uh, i will also be covering how to set up the platform itself so how to customize it so it looks um, the way you would like it to look um, how to set up the market watch window which is where you can see the symbols you wish to to trade and um, how to set up the charts how to open and close positions um, check the equity available in your account uh, what positions you have running what is the floating profit and loss how to look at the history uh, etc so um, as you've heard so far uh, it's all very basic uh, but uh, maybe for some of you it will be helpful especially for those that haven't uh, traded uh, using this platform in the past. So I'll start by showing you how to log in. So once you open the, uh, I'm going to close the, um, the platform actually, and I will um, open it again so you can see what uh, what appears when we try to uh, to open it for the for the first time. Okay, so um, you open it, uh, it comes up, and then to get it um, set up with your demo account details, you go to File, um, Login to Trade Account, and then you enter the, the login details. Um, it's also quite possible that when you open the platform for the for first time, um, the first window you'll see will be this one, the login window. Um, so you proceed by entering the demo account details, which you would have received on an email from us. Um, these demo account details um, consist of, firstly, the actual login, um, in this case is 567125. Uh, um, then you enter the passwords, which I'm going to enter now. And um, on MT4, you will also have to select the, the server. So in the case of it being a demo account, obviously you have to select um, Active Trades demo server. Um, in the case of MetaTrader 5, which is what I have here now, uh, you don't need um, to select because there's only one server, it's the Active Trades server. So once you've entered those details, you click OK. And we can see that we are now connected. There's, there, there are prices coming up here. Um, and also on the bottom right corner of the platform, we can see there is a connection on the connection status here. Um, there's a green tick, which means that we are connected. Otherwise, you'll see a red tick, which could indicate um, that the login details you entered were incorrect. Perhaps a typo whilst entering the um, password or wrong uh, login number, etc. Something like that. Okay, so once you have the, the platform open, um, in this case here, it, it's not really configured. It just comes up a little bit messy. So there's loads of tool here, tools here that uh, really, uh, for some of you, may not be required. Like, for example, the strategy test box, which I'm going to close. And that creates the data window as well. I'm going to close it. I'm just going to do, as I mentioned earlier, a very basic demonstration, which uh, aims mainly at those of you that haven't um, used it, this platform before. Uh, and some of you also that may never have uh, traded. Um, so as you can see already here, there are several windows uh, that are open. By default, these windows tend to come up on the platform. Um, um, the platform is totally customizable, I must say. So you can you can move windows around, you can change the size, then the shape, the, the shape of the windows, etc. Uh, you can make it look pretty much um, any way you wish it to, to look. Um, it's just a question of going through this uh, this customization process and and tidying it up uh, so that it reflects your your likings. Okay, so um, the first window here is the market watch. This market watch is important because it contains um, the symbols uh, or the instruments that you will be trading. Um, I have I have a variety. I have some some CFDs of shares. I have um, uh, 
a few currency pairs but in fact we have over 600 uh, different instruments to be traded uh, they include uh, forex um, and also CFDs uh, and within the subgroup of CFDs you will find uh, CFDs of indices, CFDs of commodities, uh, of shares and uh, also of uh, fixed income. Um, it's very easy to customize this market watch. Uh, it, in fact, the whole platform um, follow the same basic principles. Any other window will also respond to what I'm going to do next, which is to click inside the market watch window with the with the right button of my mouse. So if you click with the right button, this drop down menu appears. And if we go to symbols, we can then get um, this pop up, which um, allows you to add uh, any symbols that you may want to trade and at the moment are not found uh, inside in this market watch. So you can see this is divided in subcategories. There's Forex, Metals and then several categories of Fords which includes indices, which includes um, oil, which includes um, many commodities, uh, cotton. Um, you have the main indices, it's important to say, like the DAX, the Dow Jones, uh, the CAC, uh, to, to mention but a few, but there are many more, many, many others available. Um, so if I wanted to add, for example, I don't know, the, um, the Dow Jones um, onto my chart, I simply select it here. I double click on it so that the um, symbol here becomes golden. And that means that it will already be displaying in my platform. And indeed, I can see it here. Once I've added all the symbols I wish to add, I simply close this. And here we go. If uh, I wish to remove any of these symbols, uh, I can right click on them with the mouse and select hide. Um, I could also select hide all, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm just doing one by one. Okay, I think that's enough uh, to um, to illustrate was what I was trying to say. Um, now the next step will be to look at charts. So you can have several charts running at the same time. You can either um, have them um, running uh, alongside each other, um, or you can you can have them here. You can select the charts here. Um, as you can see, I have I have four at the moment. So I have euro, dollar, dollar, Swiss pound dollar and dollar yen um, so I'm going to just look at the euro dollar now uh, it's displaying in the configuration of candlesticks and the time frame is one hour as we can see here but if we wish to change this to say um, bar charts to, to a bar chart I simply click here I can also right click inside the chart itself and that will give me several options once again as I mentioned earlier right clicking uh, on a window is a great way uh, to find your way around and, na and navigate through this platform. So if I go to, uh, for example, uh, periodicity, I can select a different time frame. As I said, this one is showing one hour. So um, each, uh, each bar represents one hour. But if I want to change it to, say, 15 minutes, for no specific reason, but just for, for the purpose of this demonstration, I can do so very easily. I can change it to be a candlesticks chart as well. Um, I can also um, zoom in and zoom out. I can drag, click, left click on the mouse and drag across to the left or to the right. Uh, and also here I can do the same. Okay. There's also the zoom in and zoom out uh, buttons here which some of you may find um, easier to use. Um, if you want to make sure that you are at the end of the chart, just um, click and drag it towards your left. Uh, otherwise, you can also click on the chart once and then um, tap the end button in your keyboard and that will take you to the most recent bar on the chart, on the, in this case, candle on the chart. Um, the charts themselves are totally customizable. If you want to change colors, for example, uh, right click on the chart, go to properties, colors, um, so you can ch change the background and the colors of the bars up, of the bars down, etc., lines, etc. Um, 
all pl pretty much um, self-explanatory really so uh, it's just a question of going through your own uh, platform on a demo account and uh, I'm sure you'll have no problems but sh should you do you can always contact us on uh, englishdesk at activetrades.com um, right so the next window I would like to show you here which is quite important is the toolbox um, and the toolbox and and by the way we can we can if some of if any of these windows are missing from the configuration in your platform you can get them here from view um, so the toolbox now, now disappear if I go to view click on toolbox here it is again uh, toolbox is important because it allows you to access the trade tab history tab and others as well but mainly this too for someone who's just starting um, so if I go to the trade tab I can see what is the balance in my account what is the equity and the free margin uh, in this case the three figures uh, will match uh, each other uh, because um, there's no open positions obviously but uh, if I was to open a position which is what I'm going to do next and um, I can I can show you how easy it is uh, let's say I want to trade uh, euro dollar uh, there are several ways of trading euro dollar you can trade from the chart by selecting the size you wish to, to trade here uh, or you can trade from the market watch as well uh, so if I do it from the market watch I double click on the line for euro dollar here it opens an order window I select the volume I want to trade so 1.00 represents one lot of currency uh, if I want to trade a smaller fraction I can do so uh, and the smallest fraction I can trade is actually 0 0.01 uh, here I have the sell and the buy button so if I want to go short so if I think the, um, the value of the base currency is likely to drop against the second in this case the, the euro against the dollar I, I would sell uh, if I'm confident that the euro is going to go up against the dollar I buy uh, for no particular reason here I'm just going to buy and I just did that so I can see a line here uh, which is rep, uh, marks the price at which I bought and also I can see here on the toolbox now that um, there is a trade in place so on, on the trade tab I have a euro dollar traded at this time it was a buy that was the volume the price at which I traded and the current profit the, the profit at the moment as we can see um, is negative is uh, 0 0.11 um, because I just opened the position and the market hasn't gone in my favor uh, and this also includes the spread obviously which was the cost in case of euro dollar typically the spread is uh, 0 0.8 pips uh, in fact I can add it here so we can see euro dollar at the moment is 0 0.8 pips because 8 is actually the fifth pip which is the fractional the fractional uh, pip the fifth decimal sorry which is the fractional pip uh, so I can see now that my balance remains the same as it was earlier uh, but my uh, my equity has changed so it's short by a 9 9 pence 9 cents 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.9 zero nine units of currency in fact now is positive because the market has started moving in my favor so i i find it difficult to keep up with a dynamic market like the forex but i think you got the picture there um so this tells me what is the margin the margin is the collateral that will be frozen in the account uh for me to have this position open so uh, i've opened 0 0.01 and the margin for that is 10. Um, because I have uh, a leverage here um, of 100 to 1 so uh, I've opened 0 0.01 which is uh, a micro lot so a lot of 1000 uh, 1 percent of that is 10 obviously okay um, if I now want to close this position uh, it's very easy I can right click on it with the mouse I go to close position and it's gone it's very quickly if um, if um, I wish to look at the history uh, of my account see what I've been trading recently uh, I can select the history tab here and it gives me a, and it gives me a information about that um, select orders and deals of course so I can see everything and it gives me the profit uh, of what I traded it's a demo account so I've taken no notice of it you can see that the time is which at which we traded um, the ticket number 
so this was uh, this was an out so I was uh, I was getting out of the market um, that's how much we lost in the previous trade 0 0.16 units of currency okay so uh, I think this concludes this very basic um, introduction to MetaTrader um, for those of you that hadn't used it before, it, as, as I said, it's very, very basic. Um, for those of you with more sophisticated needs or for those of you that have already gone through this presentation, um, basic, uh, mastered the very basic ins and outs and now wish to move forward, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, you can call us or um, you can email, uh, email uh, englishdesk at activetrades.com. Right, thank you for watching. Bye bye.